Hi, this is Gina with Resplendent Daughter Ministries. Thank you for stopping by today. Let's open in prayer. Father, I thank you for every person who stops by to watch one of these videos or to make a visit to the blog. And I pray that you will open eyes and ears and hearts to the treasures that are in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, for those of you who've been paying attention, what I've been doing here in the videos at PatriotJournalist.com is that I've been going back to my written blog posts from 2014 and making videos of them. But today I want to make a departure from that and make today's video about a post that I wrote just a few days ago on April the, what was it, April the 4th on April the 4th, and the reason I'm doing a video today about that post entitled A Dead Hollow Tree is because it is a post about something contemporary to current time. Uh, I guess that's redundant, but at any rate, uh, rather than making a video of this post several months in the future, I figured, well, duh, it might be a good idea to make the video now. So, the reason that I decided to write about a dead hollow tree is that just a few days ago, I was in Romans 12, verse 11, back at the beginning of February in my blog, in real time, I began to go through the book of Romans, and I took a brief hiatus for about six days to do some posts on Holy Week, during Holy Week, and now I'm back to Romans in real time. So a few days ago, the verse was Romans 12, 11, and it says this, Do not lack in zeal, be enthusiastic in spirit, serve the Lord. Well, so when I read that verse, I was thinking about the fact that a few days ago, a friend of mine asked me to go see the movie Miracles from Heaven. And, of course, I had wanted to see it. I've been looking forward to it coming out, and so we went to see the movie together, and um, we dragged our husbands along with us. Uh, they weren't as enthusiastic, but they love us, and so they went. So this is a spoiler alert. If you don't want to know anything about the current movie, Miracles from Heaven, leave now, because I'm about to tell you a little bit about it. So the gist of the movie is that... Um, this little girl is very, very sick. She's, I think, about eight or nine years old. She's not a, a baby. And um, as she's coming to what seems to be the end of her life from this ravaging illness that has caused her months and months and months of tremendous pain, inexplicably, she climbs up in a uh, dead hollow tree and manages to fall head first down into it. The um, rescuers say that she fell about three stories head first down through the trunk of this tree. And miraculously, she was not seriously injured in the fall. She had a few scratches and a few bruises, but she was healed from her chronic, debilitating, ravaging illness. And if that's not crazy enough, it's based on a true story. So what does that have to do with our verse about being enthusiastic in spirit and not lagging in zeal? Well, remember, Paul was talking to believers when he wrote Romans. He was talking to the Roman church. And in this verse, he was exhorting them to use their time, their gifts, their talents in service to the Lord. Most of the time, most Christians have no problem doing that. They actually long to do that. Um, other times, because of adverse life circumstances, for example, Christians believe they no longer have anything to offer. In the movie, the mother, Christy Beam, said that she lost her faith temporarily during this time of dealing with her daughter's devastating illness. Well, a few days ago, I was reading a testimony from a friend who lost her beloved husband, her dearest friend, six months ago. She wrote this Facebook post on the anniversary of, six-month anniversary of his death. It was a hollow tree experience in her life as Annabelle's illness 
was a hollow tree time during Christy Beam's life as well. Did you catch that the title of the movie is Miracles from Heaven? Not Miracle from Heaven, plural, Miracles from Heaven. The healing of Abby was not the only miracle. Toward the end of the movie, Christy, the mother, testifies in her church, and she talks about the many miracles along the way that were chronicled in the movie. And they were miracles, but they were brought about by ordinary people allowing God to use them. Aren't you glad God uses flawed, ordinary people? We're the only kind He creates. The Bible is full of stories where God used everyday, ordinary, flawed, everyday man and typical woman. But he makes them extraordinary. He's the one, by his saving grace and power, who does the miraculous. He can even use somebody who appears to be dead because he raises the dead in many ways, just in the same way he raised his son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says that some people truly are dead. They truly are the walking dead because the Bible says they are dead in their sins. If you know Jesus Christ as Savior, this does not describe you. But I pray that if you're listening or watching today and you've not yet accepted Christ as your Savior, that you will not delay in accepting him as your Lord and Savior today. I just can't back away from saying that because it's absolutely foundational, inescapable, and crucial. There is no true joy apart from Jesus Christ. Only pale imitations. He is the only one who can bring the dead to life, forgive our sins, make us spiritually alive in Him. And this, this is life's greatest miracle. The Bible says in Ephesians 2, 4 through 6, But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, we are saved. And raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. One final point to Christians. Note that Paul did not exhort Christians to wait until they felt good about zealously serving the Lord. If we wait until we feel like it, we won't step out in obedience. You aren't going to necessarily have that joy that comes from serving Jesus until after you allow yourself to be filled with the Spirit and used for His glory. Do you feel like that big, dead, hollow tree today? In the movie, Anna asked her mother why God had not healed her. She was in tremendous pain. As the mother, Christy, told Anna, the little girl in the movie, There are so many things I don't know, but I know God loves you. Amen to that and praise Him for His miraculous love. Let's pray together. Loving Father, I was so dead, dead in my sins, until you rescued me. I can't thank you enough for saving my soul, making me alive through Jesus. It's hard to explain, and even harder to understand how that works in the spiritual realm, but then we don't have to understand everything. Faith means taking you at your word, trusting in your promises. I pray specifically today for those who have never met Jesus, have never thrown all their sins on him, who feel hopelessly trapped 
insufferably dead. Speak to them, Father, through your holy word, by your Holy Spirit, and or through one of your redeemed, one of your beloved. I pray that these will find your love to be inescapable. And for my brothers and sisters, those beloved who already know you as Savior, but who still feel like that dead tree, speak to them today also in the depths of their hearts. Reaffirm your love for them in tangible ways that let them know you've not left or forsaken them. And then empower us all, Father, to step out in obedient service to you so that Satan's adversity, which beats and bruises us, does not overcome us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so appreciative of your time today. And I just want to remind you in closing that you can find the full text of today's video at resplendentdaughter.blogspot.com. I hope you'll follow my blog and also come back to watch more videos here at patriotjournalist.com.